went to jail for attempted murder. He's been in and out of jail for domestic abuse, violence against his wife. I just think that was just his character. This is Love Hurts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future content. Tawanda Christian was beautiful and intelligent. At 46 years old, she was still that girl. She took pride in her look and taking care of herself was top priority. She was the mother of three children and she had 11 grandchildren. She absolutely loved spending time with her grandkids. Oftentimes, if you seen her, you would see those grandbabies right behind her. Tawanda was special. She had an unforgettable spirit and she would light up any room that she was in. She was truly the life of the party. Tawanda was married to 52-year-old Mavis Christian. The two seemed to be in a loving marriage, or at least that's what Tawanda's family believed. But Mavis's family knew different. Mavis was known as the black sheep of his family. He didn't get along with anyone. You know how every family has that one person that others in the family don't too much deal with? Well, that was Mavis. He was known as the troubled one. He stayed in and out of trouble with the law and his family, they just weren't there for it. Mavis had a long rap sheet that spanned back to 1991. His previous charges included everything from attempted second degree murder to domestic violence against Tawanda. In 2018, Mavis was accused of punching Tawanda several times in the face during an argument. And when their children tried to intervene to defend their mom, he grabbed a bat out of one of the child's hand and started beating Tawanda in the head with it. Police were called and of course Mavis was taken to jail and charged with aggravated assault and domestic assault bodily harm. He ended up being convicted of the aggravated assault in 2019 and received a three-year sentence. But he only served about 30% of the sentence and he was released in 2020. Records indicate he and Tawanda continued their relationship after his release from prison. Family said after Mavis's release from prison, he was worse off than before he went in. He was constantly getting into arguments with family members, especially after his mom died. His mom left her home to Mavis and his siblings. And Mavis was going through a difficult time in his marriage, so he felt that he should be able to live in the home. But his sister's daughter, 35-year-old Letitia Bobo, was living in the home with her two teenage daughters. And they definitely did not feel comfortable allowing him to stay there with them. And I don't blame them with his past criminal history. In any case, this family feud over the home dragged on for more than a year and led to some very ugly arguments that would oftentimes end with Mavis threatening to physically harm his sister and his niece. But nobody took his threat serious. They all just chalked it up to Mavis acting crazy and talking crazy again. They had no idea that he had reached his limit and he was about to explode. We're learning more about the victims who were killed in Saturday night's mass shooting in Memphis. This, of course, is a story that has gripped our entire community since everything started to unfold more than 48 hours ago. Memphis police tell us that Mavis Christian shot three people at a home in southwest Memphis Saturday. This is where it started around 530 in the afternoon. Two of those died, including a 13 year old girl. Police say the killer then drove to Parkway Village and killed a woman on Warrington Road. He then traveled back across the city, returning to Whitehaven, where he killed another woman. And we learned that that woman was his wife, Tawanda Christian. Fox 13's Mandy Rock spoke with people who knew the couple. Police say the third shooting happened here at Tawanda Christian's home. Police later found her husband dead in his car in southwest Memphis after apparently shooting himself. I spoke with a close family friend and then also I spoke with a woman who said she worked with the suspect about what led up to this tragedy. She was a nice, she was a nice, intelligent person and then she, she always smiled. Friends and family are remembering 46-year-old Tawanda Christian, the fifth and final victim in Saturday night's mass shooting. Every time I talk to her, you, you know, she always call, check them, say how I'm doing. Police say this man, Mavis Christian, killed four family members and injured another during a shooting spree across Memphis. Several people we've spoken to say Mavis and Tawanda Christian were married and lived together in this house in Whitehaven where she was killed. I'm just 
just been, just been sent to prison all day. Desmond Baldwin is a close family friend. He said to Wanda Christian leaves behind three children and two stepchildren. Right now, the family family not doing doing good. They just they just they hurt so just hurt. I feel like they were just poking a bear, and after so many pokes, he just snapped. We also spoke with a woman who wants to remain anonymous due to fear of retaliation. She says she worked with the accused killer and says he told her he was having troubles at home. If you ever work with him, you know, he'll say good morning, come up to you, have a conversation. But the conversation eventually will start turning into you know, things that he was going on with things that was he was going through at home. In Memphis, Mandy Rock, Fox 13 News. Police say Mavis' rampage began on Saturday, November 18th at around 5.45 p.m. when he drove to the home of his niece, 35-year-old Letitia Bobo. Her and her teenage daughters were in their car pulling out of the driveway when Mavis blocked them in and opened fire, killing Letitia and her 13-year-old daughter, Tori. He also shot her 15-year-old daughter seven times. Luckily, she survived. Mavis continued on his rampage. Next, he went to his sister's home, 56-year-old Ruby Manuel. Based on neighbor's video footage, he was only in the home no longer than three minutes, and he shot her dead in her kitchen. After brutally murdering his own sister, he went to his home, the home he shared with Tawana Christian, and shot her dead before ultimately ending his own life later on that evening. Mavis's only surviving victim, his 15-year-old great-niece, was rushed to the hospital and she will likely make a full recovery. The fifth victim in all of this is Mavis Christian Jr.'s 15-year-old great-niece. Now, she is set to be released from here at Regional One Hospital sometime today after he allegedly shot her seven times. Now, as you can imagine, that this is going to be a very long road of recovery for this family and everyone involved, both mentally and physically. Celise Manuel, whose mother was killed, tells me this was a very traumatic thing for her to witness after the fact like I had to see my mother on the ground already dead Celise Manuel is grieving the shooting deaths of the most important people in her life her mother Ruby Manuel her 38 year old sister Letitia Bobo and her niece 13 year old Tori Christian were all shot and killed by her uncle 52 year old Mavis Christian jr on Saturday. It's blood everywhere. You know, it was just a very traumatic scene to see. Memphis police says during the shooting rampage, Christian then drove to 196 Howard Drive to kill his estranged wife before turning the gun on himself. Celise says she doesn't know what led to this tragedy, but believes it was over a year long argument over property. The house that my grandmother left them um, he felt like he should have a right to stay in the house, but at the time when my grandma passed, it was young girls living in the house, and we didn't want him staying there with them because we just didn't feel safe. She says whatever caused her uncle to snap, this behavior wasn't out of his character. He went to jail for attempted murder. He's been in and out of jail for domestic abuse, violence against his wife. I just think that was just his character. Now, again, such a sad story for everyone involved. Celise tells me, meanwhile, um, the funeral arrangements for her mom, her sister, and, and her niece have not been planned yet. But meantime, they're just trying to take everything day by day. But for now, reporting live in front of Regional One Hospital, I'm Stephanie Douglas, Action News 5. This case is just unbelievable. So this fool killed his sister his niece, his great niece, and his wife, and also shot his other great niece seven times? Wow, I just have no words. What type of monster kills innocent children? Not to mention innocent children from your own family. Like, this is nuts. My heart goes out to the families involved in this tragedy. 
I hope they are able to find comfort in knowing that he will never be able to harm anyone else again. If you are in a domestic abuse relationship or if you have family members who are questionable and make you feel uncomfortable, please distance yourself in the quickest, safest way possible. As always, loves, stay safe and don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and hit the notification bell for future content.